Hi there folks. Now, as you may well know, the most common trading platform that most retail traders use out there is the MT4 and the MT5 platforms. Of course, there are other platforms out there, but this is by far the most common platform. You may have seen a video I did early on in the year, I think it was, where I compared the MT4 with the C Trader platform. Check it out if you haven't seen it already. I know I've got lots of feedback on that. Anyway, I was in our live trading room early this week and I was doing a live stream, which we do a couple of times a day anyway. And I prepared all this technical analysis on the chart. It was really annoying. I hit one button and everything disappeared in front of my very eyes. All the work I'd done in preparation for the stream disappeared. Very embarrassing and very, very annoying, especially on the live streams, I say. So I started to put all these lines back in manually. And one of the members piped up and he said to me, you know, why don't you just use alt backspace? So alt backspace, and as this by magic, everything reappeared. So this got me thinking, how many other shortcuts are out there that I didn't know existed? And I did some research, boy, there were loads. So I thought I'd put this short video together today, explaining or showcasing some of the most useful ones. I'm really pleased I did, because I learned a lot actually from my own YouTube video. Now the video includes the main ones, but I've also put together a cheat sheet now, which you can download, which includes many, many more as well. So I suggest you download this now after the video. You can see the link below. Maybe get it laminated as well. Keep it on your desk as an easy reference guide um, so you too can take advantage of all these nifty little shortcuts and, and, um, and function keys. Now, before I get into the screens, let me remind you to subscribe to the channel if you don't already do so. Don't forget to hit that little bell notification that way you'll be notified the moment my next video has been released. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And of course, if you follow us on Facebook, you can tune in live every Monday afternoon, 2 p.m. for our live streaming event where we look at trading opportunities for the week ahead. Okay, come on, let's have a look at some of these nifty little shortcuts. Okay, so here we are on the screens. This is a typical MT4 trading platform. Now, as I said, this is not a tutorial on MT4. There's plenty of places out there that you can, uh, you can watch to learn more about MT4. This is basically an overview of some of the shortcuts that you may not be aware of. Certainly, when I was compiling the, the content for this video, I came across some shortcuts that I didn't know existed, indeed, finding them very, very useful. Now, not a really great, interesting subject, so I'm going to skim through them. As you know, you can download a cheat sheet so you can keep it on your desk if you want to have a quick overview of these shortcuts. So I encourage you to do that after this video. OK, so let's get going. OK, so first up, let's have a look at the one click trading by clicking this top arrow in the left pulls up this little window here. This allows you to enter a buy order or sell order with just one click. I think you need to go through some uh, security question first to make sure that you agree to do it. But this is one click trading. Some of you may not be aware of that. The F1 key, F1 key pulls up basically the help guide for the MT4. So quick access to get into the help guide by hitting F1. Now F2 pulls up the history. Here is where you can download previous history of a particular trading entity. If you want to do some back testing or a look back in time or run it through some of your um, expert advisors. Here is where you can update some of the data, whatever data you are missing. Now the other F keys do certain bits, uh, some of it pretty irrelevant. Uh, the next uh, one I want to talk about is F8. F8 basically pulls up the properties of particular charts. So it's here where you can change the colors and so forth. And of course you can change whether you want to show the grid and period separators. So a quick way to access that is uh, using the F8 key. F9 pulls up a new order ticket. Here you can access the pending orders or the limit orders, market execution orders and so forth. F11 enables and disables the full screen mode, such like this. Now next up is most probably the uh, most uh, useful of the function keys. It's the F12 key. Here is where you can scroll through the bar chart or candlestick chart a one bar at a time. So it's great if you want to do some back testing. So scroll back in data and every time you hit the F12 key, you'll see a new bar is displayed. So a wonderful way to do some manual back testing. The F12 key. Now, if you want to move the chart back, 
candle at a time, you simply do the shift and F12. And here you'll see you're looking back one candle at a time as well. Shift F12. So those are the basic function keys that I think are useful. Next up, we'll look at the Alt combination keys. So if you hit Alt and the number one, it will toggle to the bar chart. If you hit Alt number two, back to the candlestick chart, and Alt number three will take you to the line chart. So a quick way to toggle between the different chart types. Now there are some other Alt combination keys, but you will find those on the cheat sheet. I won't go into them now. Next up, let's look at the control combination. This is basically how we can uh, really use some shortcuts to aid our navigation around a screen. Now, if you hit the control A, it will arrange all the indicator windows uh, to a, a default height setting. So here you can see my ATR is a different, uh, uh, different height on each chart. If I go to control A on each chart, it will basically size them all the same so it all looks nice and tidy. Some might like to use that. Now this may be useful for some. For some of you using the expert advisors, control E will enable you to uh, disable or enable the expert advisor with just two clicks. So rather than going up here to find the um, auto trading, you, which you can do by your mouse on off, you can do control E, which will do exactly the same. Control G will enable you to remove or add the grid very quickly. I'm pleased about that because I'm definitely going to have that switched off. That grid always annoys me. Control F will quickly enable the crosshairs for easy navigation around previous price action. Control H will enable you to show the open, the high, the low, and the close. Look up here, top left. That's Control H. Control I will pull up the indicators that you have on the chart for easy management. I have got just the ATR, the average true range showing on this chart. Standard form, if you want to print off the chart, Control P will allow you to print off the chart should you wish to. If you want to save the chart by hitting Control S, we'll show you where you can save the chart for future analysis, or indeed if you want to put it into your trade journal. And Control W will allow you to quickly close that chart should you no longer wish to have that chart on your profile page. Now next up is the most useful control key that I've learned, certainly since I uh, was doing the research for this video, and that's Control Z. Often in the past, I put on my analysis onto a chart, um, put on my lines and so forth, and then wish to delete that particular line. And in doing so, everything gets deleted at the click of the delete button. And then I have to do all my analysis again. Now by hitting Control Z or Z, pulls it all back up. I have wasted so much time in the past uh, not knowing about this Control Z. Control D pulls up the data window. Here where you can see all the different data pertaining to each individual candlestick. Control M pulls up the market watch window. Control N pulls up the navigator. And lastly, the Control T will pull up the terminal where you can access all the other useful parts of the MT4 platform. Quick way of accessing that. Now, of course, there are other control keys as well, and you can learn more about those in the cheat sheet that I've attached to the bottom of this video. You can download it at any time. Now we'll have a quick look at the arrow keys. The left arrow will basically scroll the chart back to the left. The right arrow scrolls the chart to the right. And if you use the up arrow, that will basically scroll back to the left, but much quicker. And the down arrow key will scroll to the right, again, much quicker. 
page up, scrolls back much faster than the other keys and page down, scrolls forward again much quicker. Hitting the end moves the chart to the last candle, the most current candle. The plus and the minus of course to zoom in and zoom out. Often I was just going up with my mouse, clicking the plus and the minus button up here. But now literally you can just do it with a couple of little clicks. Now here's a little shortcut which I found quite useful. If you've messed around with the scaling of the chart and you've, you know, you've moved around and, and you know, to do some analysis and you want to get it back to the original position, clicking the number five on the keypad takes you back to exactly the way it was before you started meddling with the scale on the right hand side. Now if you put an object onto the chart and you want to remove just that one object, so here we'll put on a Fibonacci tool, or we don't like that, you want to remove that one by clicking the back space key, removes the last object you placed on the chart. Okay, so there you have it, just a basic run through of some of the important shortcuts that you can use on the MT4 platform. By no means a user guide for MT4. Maybe I'll do one of those in the future if there was a demand for it then I would do. In fact, leave me a comment indeed if you wish me to put one together and if it's worthwhile, I'll put something together. But MT4 platform certainly the most used platform in the Forex market and hopefully this will make your experience that much more enjoyable. So I hope you found that useful. Um, certainly don't forget now to download this cheat sheet. Keep it on your desk. It'll be there for you uh, to take advantage and make your life a whole lot easier when you're using the MT4, the MT5 platform. If you like this video, if you found it useful, do let me know. I watch and read all the comments, get back to as many as I can as well. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and of course, Instagram. If you follow us on Facebook, I'll see you Monday afternoon, 2 p.m. London time for the live streaming event, absolutely free. Till the next video, happy trading and good luck.